Bueno. Bueno. Fix the beard and such quick. Focus. Nope. Alright. Or go more out of focus. Son of a bitch. Hope everyone's having a bueno day today. Let the hooligans roll in and then we'll get the episode started. As it were. Let's move this over here. Probably be a quick episode today. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know. Either way, like I said, let the hooligans roll in for maybe another minute or so. Uh, then we'll get the episode underway. Still haven't opened my stickers from Jay Coulter either. Eh? Like, look at those packs. Come on now. They just look so bueno. Yeah. Still haven't opened them. God damn. They just look so cool in the packs. Hamel fat, what's up? What's going on, good sir? Hey, there we go, thank you. Apparently I had to tap on my forehead there. All right, let's get this episode started. Bam, nope, oh, hold on, Hamel fat, hopefully your package will be delivered by Thursday. Man, okay, yeah, before we fucking get into the episode, I, let's talk about this, because I mentioned it on the podcast. <laughs> Hamel Fett knows what's like gonna be here. My girl knows what's gonna be here. Everybody involved knows what's gonna. Even my fucking kids know, and I don't know. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Hamel Fett, mwaha. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I am excited to see though, man. I've been trying to figure it out, but it doesn't doesn't help because. Yeah, Hamel Fett said it's something he's really never done before. So, and every time he does something new, it fucking gets knocked out of the park. AKA the dragon armor type. Oh, goodness. Come on now. Anyway, bam. Life Lessons with Juvie. I am your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at Juvie the Kid. J U V Y T H A K I D. Same name as on here, so you can't get it confused. Also, Links are in the description if you want to help support the channel, other than giving me your beautiful, beautiful time. Also, maybe at the end of this, I'll make a little announcement. We'll see what happens. Hamel Fett, two things you have mentioned in a combination. Man, I can't even, I just, I, we've, we've talked about so much. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, I almost said that wrong. <laughs> okay, The Electric Owl. Top five fave serial characters. Uh, first of all, it's Count Chocula, like, over anything. Count Chocula is the fucking best serial. Fight me if you don't agree. Like, think about it, okay? What, Nesquik? Okay, you get chocolate milk from it? Okay, cool. Cocoa Pebbles or anything? That That's all cool. You get your chocolate milk. That's fine. Count Chocula, you get chocolate milk and you get marshmallow characters, folks. Get the fuck out of here. Count Chocula over everything. Fuck around. Favorite characters? Count Chocula, always number one. Um, I don't know. That, with the Cocoa Puffs bird is all right, I guess. I like I just like to picture him honestly. Not even like all silly and like, oh, I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I like to picture him more so on like the meth head side of things, where he's just like roll up and it's like, oh shit, there's the cocoa puffs bird. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Give me your fucking cocoa puffs. You know what I mean? Like he pulls out a fucking dirty needle or something and sticks you up for your cocoa or yeah, cocoa puffs? Yeah, that's what he was. Um, so that'd be kind of cool. I'll give him one of the spots just for based on that. <laughs> um, let's look up serial characters here. Do I still have my internet open? Oh, goodness. These screenshots confuse me sometimes. Oh, it was full screened on me. So I had my taskbar and everything there. A crusty spork. There you go. That's what he robs people with. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess you could throw. Oh well, you gotta have the captain. Captain Crunch. He was always cool. Those characters. Oh, you know what? Hold the fucking phone here. Cause there's other ones. I gotta fuck. Hold on. Okay, boom. Frankenberry. Come on now, Frankenberry. Oh, uh, apparently Count Chocula. His first name is Alfred, so that's cool. Um, <coughs> okay, so Count Chocula, the meth head Cocoa Puffs bird, definitely Frankenberry. Uh, see, I feel like I want to put the captain in there, but I, I feel like he's interchangeable. So we'll give him honorable mention. Uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle had a, a cereal? I don't remember that. Um, hmm. Quickie the Nest Quick Bunny. His name is Quickie. Hmm. Who's Crunchosaurus Rex? Oh, that's from Cruncharoos. I don't remember that one. Mr. T cereal. <laughs> Fair, but yeah, I want to go. I want to do uh, just like the regular serial characters. Okay, so we got Count Chocula, obviously. That's a hundred percent. Frankenberry, uh, the Cocoa Puffs bird. I'm already forgetting one. Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Cocoa Puffs bird. Uh, huh. Boo Berry. Mm. Sugar Bear. Oh, yeah. He was cool. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Man, yeah, I like... I like the Sugar Bear. He's pretty cool. I'll give him that for sure. Uh, I think that's it. You know what? That's, where, that's what we're going to go with. Count Chocula, Cocoa Puffs Bird, uh, Frankenberry... Sugar Bear, and Captain Crunch. That's what we're going to go with. Honey Smack Frog? Why don't I remember the Honey Smack Frog? It sounds familiar, but... The one thing, fucking... Um, Lucky the Leprechaun? Never cared about him. Oh, Honey Smacks. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah, I remember those. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Thin mints. Wanna order some before it's too late? I don't know. What is it? Now it's illegal, I guess. I don't know. We're just going to totally Fruit Loop Toucan. Oh, two. <laughs> the way. Oh, goodness. I see I know what you mean because we're talking about the serial characters but just to look down at the comments and all you see is fruit loop toucan <laughs> I don't know that's just it's it's like that's like I don't know that's something you'd like say out of frustration to a friend like because he just like knocked you out in a video game or something <laughs> yeah. oh but yeah toucan Sam I remember him and then they brought his nephews in and everything Uncle Toucan? Oh, yeah, why the fuck did they say Uncle Toucan? We know you, you're all Toucans. You don't have to say Uncle Toucan. Say Uncle Sam. Oh, that's why they couldn't. Never mind. Fair. That would not go over well, probably, with the American citizens. How dare you use Uncle Sam's name in the name of sugary cereal snacks? Not in this great nation. Much love to the American folks, though. I'm just fucking around with you. <coughs> but yeah, I guess it's illegal now to actually use serial characters. I don't know. I heard something like that. Or not illegal. Or whatever. You're just... The companies aren't allowed to do it. Not allowed. Not allowed. Give me your... Fucking Cocoa Puffs. Oh my god, if I had a bird, like a mascot bird costume, I would so do a fucking meth head Cocoa Bird skit. Hmm. 
I don't know. There's a lot of fucking conflicting articles. One one will say that it's ruled that you're not allowed to use them. The next one says that you are allowed to like it doesn't there was no ruling about it. Um other ones are just arguing the correlation between cartoon characters and the popularity of a cereal, which is fucking bullshit because fuck Frosted Flakes. Man, like, if I had to, yeah, I'll take Frosted Flakes. But if I'm getting some, like, whatever cereal, give me Cheerios at least. You know what I mean? I don't care if fucking Frosted Flakes and Tony think it's great. You know what I mean? You're still a tiger. You're still a tiger. I don't want to play basketball with you. I for sure don't want to eat cereal with you. As soon as I turn my back to put the bowl in the sink, you're going to attack me. I guarantee it. Ever wonder why there were, like, you only saw the kids in the commercials for that one commercial? Because the game didn't end well. The kid got eaten by the tiger, and he just picking the bones out of his teeth, like, mm, great. Like, flicks a rib bone off the kid's mom's forehead, like, dink. That got real dark. That got real dark. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Mikey likes it. Ah. You ever feel like, you ever, you know, when you got that feeling where it's like, you can feel something in between your teeth? You know what I mean? I think I got a spice stuck in my teeth. Here we go. Oh. Some cereal is supposed to be good for you. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. Regular. <laughs> Nutritious. Cereal and fish Like, <coughs> oh my god, I fucking love old commercials. Oh, I had that Fisher Price barn. $50 on 40 Fisher. I had that exact Fisher Price barn with all those people. <laughs> he likes it. And then he like he yells at Mikey as if like Mikey's gonna be like, yeah, of course I like it, dude. Like, whatever. Just, hey Mikey! Like what, man? I'm fucking sitting right here. Like you. You told me to eat it. Don't fucking yell at me. God, go fuck yourself, Josh. Hey, Josh! Isn't nice, is it? Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ah, oh, I love it. Just too good. It's too good, folks. Gives me a laugh. Made me chuckle. You know what I mean? What can you do? What can you do? I gotta stir my little milkshake here. So, I'm not doing anything weird. With my hand. I know it looks super weird, but yeah. So, either way, unless something pops up in the chat, I think that's going to conclude the episode. My episode has a first name. It's L I F E. I don't think that song is going to work for this. Oh, well, Oscar Meyer was the name. Of baloney, at least. Not of this episode. Definitely not of this episode. <coughs> Excuse moi. Okay. Nothing in the chat. Let me get on out of here. Actually, let's make a little announcement. For the folks that watch the life lessons and, you know, watch the live streams and everything. First of all, thank you. Mucho, mucho. Pre We're good. Came back. No worries. No worries. Anyway. What I was saying... For the folks that watch the life lessons and like, you know, sit through the live streams and everything, first of all, thank you, mucho, mucho, mucho appreciated. Second, special announcement for you folks that actually do. There's going to be a new merch store launching. The T Public one is still going to be active and all that. You guys can still get all the types of merch off of that. But I'm going to be launching a Redbubble site as well. Redbubble is basically, it works the same as Tee Public. Uh, I can put my designs up and it offers a wide, wide variety of items that you guys can get. Um, but with Redbubble, I can actually do other things. I can do basi basically anything. Um, I posted a little preview for you folks. Uh, I can do clocks. 
and even the clocks have like different settings. You can have like a bamboo frame with white hands or a black frame with red hands. Um, the shirts as well, I can do different designs with them. Uh, even do more stuff for the ladies and everything out there. I'm like, I'm, gonna, I'm able to do proper like women's dress, like, like shirts, uh, like dress shirts where it's like basic, I don't know, late girls will know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, mini, like, I don't, I can't remember if it's a mini skirt or a regular skirt. I think it's a regular skirt. We're all adults here. Um, but leggings, skirts, fucking scarves, uh, fucking laptop skins. So like something you can actually put on the top of your laptop. So it's like, it just looks like that's what's on top of it instead of like your regular thing where it says Dell or Asus, whatever have you. Literally like a whole, a whole new world of merch is going to be unlocked to us. Um, and with that, I'm actually going to be also selling some photography that I've done, uh, different ones that like I've shot and whatever. Uh, I just, I, I, I don't know. I think it's a cool idea. Uh, it's also one of those things that it gives more merch for the hooligans to choose from. If you see something on T public, uh, but it's not really like there's nothing there that you really like, you can go check out the red bubble because whereas the hooligan squad shirts, I can actually just print the hooligan squad like logo on the back of the shirt itself. Um, but I can also have it where it's like a graphic tee basically. And I have the designs like all over the shirt. And that's, that's one thing that I've always wanted to do. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited. Uh, I don't have a specific date of when I'm going to be, you know, excuse me, like launching it. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, getting a couple of things ready for it. I'm going through everything, making sure it's really perfect for like the design. Um, and then, yeah, I'll let you hooligans all know when it's ready. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's gonna be leggings, uh, for clocks, acrylic boards, whatever that is, or sorry, it's an acrylic block. So it's like basically just like a block with the design of, or photography thing that you get. Um, Jesus Christ, just everything, folks. There's all types of different shirts as well. Um, so it's very, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this. I hope you hooligans, like, you know, like all the merch and everything that's on there. Um, the reason I really like Redbubble as well is because it does offer a lot more as far as uh, apparel and merch I like that is available, but it also has a lot more for the ladies as well. Um, I'm able to do like hooligan squad leggings for the ladies that enjoy like yoga or, you know, keep being weird leggings or whatever have you. Um, I have a feeling I was a little out of focus, so I apologize. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, with Redbubble, uh, it's just tons, tons more merch that you guys can get. Um, but it's also for the lady of your life or just the ladies out there. Um, there's going to be a lot of more, a lot more options for you folks. Um, and if any, honestly, like it, it, it's one of those things, like if one of the hooligans wants something, um, I can change the design, like more so for you put your order, like, I'll let you know, you put your order in and then maybe I'll switch it back. Or if it actually looks better, I'll keep it like that. Um, but this is just, it's gonna, it's, it, I don't know. I feel like as far as merch goes, I think the hooligans are really going to like, you're going to like this site maybe a bit more than the T public one. Um, but we'll see. Either way, I'm very, very excited. Um, and who, Hamel Fett, uh, snuck some things in there. So let's go. But yes, that'll be coming very, very soon. Uh, did you catch Cobra Kai yet? I watched the first episode of Cobra Kai. I was going to talk a little bit about it in tomorrow's vlog, uh, but I'll talk about it a little bit now. Um, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn because I, again, I've only watched the first episode. Um, so for me, like the, like the like kid in me is just like, yeah, there is no mercy in this dojo. Sweep the leg, get him a body bag, Johnny. Oh, like <laughs> it's just all flashing through my head. Like I love it. I've seen, I've seen the original trilogy of the Karate Kid, plus the Hillary Swank, the next Karate Kid, but we're not gonna talk about that one, all right? We're not gonna talk about it, can't do it. But, so for me, with the whole nostalgia thing, I like it. As far as the story goes, I don't know. Like, I guess, I don't know. I just don't know how to react, like, I guess, like, react or, like, 
I don't understand why like Daniel turned into a douchebag. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, maybe you got to watch more of the show. Um, again, this is, these are just my first impressions and thoughts of it. Um, but yeah, so far I like the nostalgia. I like, I kind of like where it's going, or at least I like the idea of what they went with for the show. Um, what the fuck happened? Why? Like, oh, Hamilton, fair. Money, more money, more problems. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, uh, with Cobra Kai, I will give it more of a shot and then we'll dive more into it. Uh, kind of like what I did with Iron Fist and everything. So, oh, also, this really has nothing to do with life lessons, but whatever. This is life lessons plus the live stream because uh, it's the Hooligan Squad's channel and we do what we want. So, bam. Uh, June 22nd, season two of Luke Cage. Go check that trailer out, folks. Jesus Christ. Uh, Hamill Fett. Ooh, a Joker shirt. Oh, emoji. That would be badass. I was working on something yesterday. Um, all I'm going to say for the Joker Fett stuff right now, uh, it's happening. It's 100% happening. I just have to execute the idea. Which shouldn't be hard. I usually can figure that out because it's really uh, more so just like a photography kind of thing that I'll have to do and then whatever. Uh, but yes, a Joker Fett shirt. Actually, Joker Fett shirt, leggings, uh, hoodie, fucking, again, art board, canvas print, poster print, a sticker, fucking popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Popcorn. Ponder that. Okay. Shouts to anyone that knows that reference. I, I, I've realized I, I reference a lot of really obscure shit on this channel. But what can you do? Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here now. So yes, read the new merch store for the folks that have stuck around to the end. Hamil Fett, you've stuck around, so you already know. Um, that'll be launching soon. So pay attention to my Instagram and my Twitter for that. If you don't, then just pay attention to the channel because I'll announce it on here as well. Long sleeves with Joker Fett written down the arms and some of your tats on it. I don't know if I can do that in depth on uh, Redbubble, but we'll see what happens. I will definitely have something for Joker Fett. I promise you that. Probably more than one, to be honest. We're going to start with one, though, because it starts with one. You know what I mean? One thing. And I don't, you know, I, I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Like, you know, just uh, how hard you try. So, you know. I keep that in mind to design these rhymes, you know, to explain in due time that all I know is it's the end of the Life Lessons episode. So thanks for joining me, folks. Hamil Fett, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for adding to the discussion, as always. I love it. Hamil Fett, I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> I love Linkin Park. Anyway, mucho love, hooligans. This has been Life Lessons with Juvie. I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. This has actually been the 163rd episode. Totally random episode to celebrate, but we're going to do it. Woo! 163, bitches. We made it. Yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. Same name as on here, so you can't get it confused. Also, if you want to support the channel in any way, other than giving me yo beautiful, beautiful time, Links are in lay description. I promise you. They're there. Yeah. Okay. Mucho love, hooligans. Mwah, mwah, mwah for your beautiful fetches. Awkward outro. Hurting the button. Stop them straight now. Yeah.